Hello world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to codingscientist.com we are learning about uh, machine learning using arduino 33 ble sense i hope it's getting excited as soon as we got into the tensor flow aspects of machine learning the deep learning framework things are getting really excited right because last couple of lessons we you folks did a lot of hard work in installing the libraries and stuff unless until you get some interesting outcome you may not enjoy so that's where the tensor flow light comes into picture i'm going to show you a lot of other magics anyways in the previous lesson we did see a simple example of magic wand using the tensor flow light in this lesson let's go through a couple of other examples and most important example what we will see is how to activate the sound the microphone which is inbuilt within your within your ble sense and how to activate that and start using something called micro speech right micro speech is another as it's a very big game in the machine learning industry in the artificial intelligence industry you know micro speech when when we start building couple of more applications in fact uh, the the micro speech stuff i did install in uh, the jetbot as well which you can see behind me the green color and one of the previous lesson uh, sorry the previous parallel series which is going on so it worked fantastic guys of course that was in jetson nano which is a pretty uh, you know advanced uh, single board computer and more powerful than the microcontroller device anyways so let's take a look at uh, the micro speech and uh, let's enjoy that particular example now let's go to file examples in the examples go to arduino tensor flow light we did see the magic wand let's go to micro speech and there is also person detection in person detection what we will do is we will be connecting the camera the ardu cam if you guys have the ardu cam that is fantastic or else please go ahead and get it because without a camera you may not be able to do the person person detection and kind of thing or the another option is if you want the entire tiny ml machine learning kit from me i can get it for you do reach out to me because that kit comes with the expansion board as well as the camera and the usb and the 33 ble board as well so go ahead and procure it for now let's look at the micro speech micro underscore speech so click on that and uh, let's close the previous one the magic wand is done now let's look at it so micro speech audio provider so we have we are using those audio libraries all right it's a pretty lengthy code let's go to tools 33 ble i am going to select either embed os boards or you can go to embed os nano board so i am on nano board i am selecting at arduino nano 33 ble and then i will select the com port com port 8 all right let's cross our finger and let's upload it's uploading i hope it works let's be patient guys it's going to take quite a lot of time in the meanwhile let's let's read through okay hash include tensorflow light and then the main function the command responder if you see the subsections here everything is mentioned you know you, you can look at the pdm.h audio provider.h and then the next section arduino main this is the main code the the main function and then the audio com all right the code seems to be compiling i don't see any error so far okay i i did read through some of the documents in tensorflow org about this particular example so there are two words which is been uh, i think trained pre trained in the model in the neural network in this particular deep learning uh, framework it's called yes or no so we will just spell out the uh, you know the word called yes or no keeping the microphone very close by and see what happens and we will be training more models as well we will be training we will we will capture lot of other sound inputs recorded sounds through the cell phone through the mobile phone or if we have a mp3 files all those things we can uh, you know put that into our training model and see what happens i'll show you step by step 
compiling skits you need lot of patience guys to do this it's still compiling and it is still compiling it is still compiling compiling it's still compiling all right in the meantime guys uh, do feel free to reach out to me if you if you have any questions if you don't understand if you are not able to follow this lesson do message me leave a feedback you know i'll be happy to explain to you one on one i can schedule a zoom call with you or if if you you or any of your friends five six of you want to have a group session with me i can do that as well i can take online classes for you you know all those possibilities are open with coding scientist that is one of the goal why i launched this platform called coding scientist zero to hero absolutely practical exposure is important and mandatory especially in the areas of coding robotics artificial intelligence these are you know it's a evergreen skills guys it's never going to die at least for next 20 25 30 years you know i would anticipate this field to be evergreen so build the skills build the competency you know try to master on the areas more the number of skills you have more the demand you are creating for yourself so i am there for you i will help you coach you all right is still compiling well, looks like a pretty heavy duty uh, program of course the sound files are pretty heavy so we are going to gather the sound and start analyzing the sound data so it's going to take time still compiling the sketch it's still compiling it's still compiling uploading okay so compiling done there is no error which is fantastic which is a great news it's uploading now 95 97 there you go done uploading <sighs> thank god all right let's connect to the com port again can you see the com port is disconnected so you got to connect it again now let me run the terminal i can see some light can you see this guys a purple purple light okay let me connect the com port heard unknown okay is detecting some voice heard no yes yes no no yes no no yes no okay so i can see the uh, the rgb color led when there is a unknown can you see it it's not detecting any words uh, so it's not trained in the neural network actually so it's it's glowing in a different color it's a blue color but whenever there is a known word which is already trained for example if you say yes okay let me uh, yes can you see if i say yes the color changes and 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 on the terminal as well it prints as yes 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 no yes all right so this is working guys this is this is fantastic so this looks to be working absolutely as designed as desired as programmed okay everything is whatever i'm speaking it says unknown obviously that's because these words what i'm speaking right now it's not been trained into the neural network it's not been trained using the tensorflow light algorithm not been trained using this particular deep learning framework 
and we are going to do all this projects in the upcoming lessons guys so it's going to get really interesting so stay along with me be patient it's going to take you know you got to be really really patient especially when you are when you are getting into machine learning and artificial intelligence right we are going to work with lot of data and without data there is no ai right and gathering all the meaningful data it's a painful journey just gathering random data doesn't work we need a meaningful data right so you got to stay along with me i am going to walk you through step by step so far everything is going good follow all these lessons get a grip of arduino 33 ble sense get a grip of all these codes and you will stay tuned with me all right guys see you goodbye bye